Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome to Dunia's Kitchen. For today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious healthy samosas. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the notification button because I will be uploading a lot of videos this month inshallah. I have a lot of recipes for you guys so for to stay tuned click on the subscribe button and let's get started. For this recipe you will need chicken breast about 250 grams, cut the chicken breast into small pieces then fry it in a pan. Now I'm adding frozen green peas, about half a cup, fry for a minute or two. Now I'm adding coriander powder, 1 teaspoon, curry powder, 1 teaspoon, black pepper, turmeric powder, half a teaspoon, Salt to taste, about one teaspoon. Stir. This is optional. If you want some spiciness, you can add tandoori chicken masala or add some hot chili. Here I have boiled potatoes, smash them, add the filling to the potatoes. Mix well. This is your filling, so let it cool down for a bit. Set aside. Here you will need some pastry leaves. I bought these at a Turkish store. This is ready made dough, so I will be using that for this recipe. Use some water or egg wash to brush on the pastry leaves. Take one tablespoon of the filling. Now take one pastry leaf, take the top and cover the filling, brush the sides with some water or egg wash, take both sides of the pastry leaf and roll. Then 
do the same with all the pastry leaves so yet again take one pastry leaf add one tablespoon of the filling cover the top brush the sides take the sides to one another and now roll Yet again, one tablespoon of the filling. Close the filling and roll. By the way, you could also add some cheese on top of the filling or use any filling you want. I'm using here chicken breast with some potatoes and green peas, but you could also use another filling, vegetable filling, that's up to you. Now you will be using one egg to make an egg wash. And with the egg wash, we are going to brush the top of the, of the samosa, but also the sides of the samosa. Else it will dry out and it will break. So make sure to cover all the sides of the samosas with some egg wash. I'm baking the samosas, but you could also fry them in a pan. This step is optional. I'm using here sesame seeds. And the sesame seeds give, us, give it extra crunch. If you don't have sesame seeds, you can leave this step out. Now bake at 180 Celsius degrees in the oven until it's golden brown of color. Or you could fry it in a pan, adding a little bit of oil and then turn it over and fry the other side. Since the dough is very thin, it won't need much time to be baked or to be fried, so make sure to not over bake. And tada, it's ready. It's really that easy and that simple and it tastes great. The kids love it. This is a great recipe for in the Ramadan inshallah because this is very easy to make and you can make many of them and then also store it in the freezer. Let me show you how it looks from the inside. Just look at that. That looks very tasty. Yum. If you want to see more of Ramadan food ideas, please click on the subscribe and notification button. Also, like this video and please share. I really need your support because I will be uploading many more food ideas for Eid Ramadan inshallah, but also cookies and cake ideas for Eid inshallah. Dunia's Kitchen is wishing you all a blessed Ramadan inshallah 